In the vast expanse of the cosmos, star systems have long defied human imagination. However, a recent discovery has pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible. For the first time, astronomers have observed a unique triple star system with an unusual structure and interaction, making it one of the most extraordinary findings in history. This system not only attests to the incredible complexity of the universe, but also opens up new possibilities for the evolution of star systems, revealing hidden mechanisms previously unknown. This particular triple star system, named TIAC 29061484, was discovered by NASA's TESS satellite. The system consists of two twin stars orbiting each other every 1.8 days, with a third star orbiting this pair in just 25 days. This discovery has broken the record for the shortest orbital period of a third star in such a system, previously held by a system where the third star orbited the inner pair in 33 days. Thanks to the system's close configuration and near edge on orientation, we could measure the orbits, masses, sizes, and temperatures of the stars, said Veselin Kostov, a research scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, and the SETI Institute in Mountain View, California. And we can study how this system formed and predict how it might evolve. Oscillations in the starlight helped reveal this tightly bound trio located in the constellation Cygnus. The system is nearly flat from our perspective. This means that each star passes in front of the other as they orbit. When that happens, the closer star blocks some of the light from the farther star. Using machine learning, scientists sifted through massive data sets of starlight from TESS identifying patterns of dimming light that indicated eclipsing events. A small group of citizen scientists then further refined the data, drawing on years of experience and informal training to identify particularly interesting cases. These citizen scientists, who are co-authors on the new study, met through an online citizen science project called Planet Hunters, which ran from 2010 to 2013. The volunteers later teamed up with professional astronomers to form a new collaborative group called the Visual Survey Group that has been active for over a decade. We primarily seek signs of close multiple star systems, stars that pulsate abnormally in binary systems, and strange objects, said Saul Rappaport, an emeritus professor of physics at MIT in Cambridge who co-authored the paper and has helped lead the Visual Survey Group for over a decade. It's very exciting to identify a system like this, as they are rare, but perhaps more common than current data suggests. There could be many more such systems scattered throughout our galaxy waiting to be discovered. Because the stars in the newly discovered system orbit each other in nearly the same plane, scientists believe the system is very stable despite its tight configuration within a region smaller than Mercury's orbit around the Sun. The gravity of each star does not significantly disrupt the others, which could happen if their orbits were tilted in different directions. But although their orbits will likely remain stable for millions of years, no one could live there, Rappaport said. We think these stars form together from the same birth process, which would hinder planets from forming close around any of the stars. The exception might be a distant planet orbiting all three stars as if they were one. As the inner stars age, they will swell and eventually merge, causing a supernova explosion in about 20 to 40 million years. Astronomers are now actively searching for stars with extremely short orbits, which is challenging with current technology. However, a groundbreaking tool is set to launch promising to open up new possibilities. NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is expected to provide images with much higher detail than TESS. If a TESS pixel can only cover a large area of the sky, the same area will be represented by over 36,000 pixels with Roman, offering extremely high resolution. Furthermore, while TESS primarily focused on wide, shallow surveys of the entire sky, Roman will delve deep into the center of the Milky Way, where stars are most densely packed, providing a close-up view of the galactic core instead of just skimming the surface.
This will allow scientists to study in greater depth the structure and evolution of complex star systems in this star-rich region. We don't know much about the stars in the center of the galaxy, except for the brightest ones, said Brian Powell, a co-author and data scientist at Goddard. Roman's high-resolution view will help us measure the light from stars that are usually too faint to be distinguished from each other, providing the clearest view yet of the nature of star systems in our galaxy. The Roman telescope, with its ability to monitor the light from hundreds of millions of stars in one of its primary surveys, will offer astronomers the opportunity to discover many more triple star systems with special configurations. Where all the stars continually eclipse each other with different periods, said researcher Powell. We're curious why we haven't found such systems with shorter orbital periods yet. Roman could help us find them and explore the limits of the structure and orbits of these systems. Moreover, Roman is capable of detecting more complex eclipsing star systems, where stars can be linked in larger groups from half a dozen or more, orbiting each other in intricate motions like bees around a hive. Before discovering eclipsing triple star systems, we didn't think they could exist, said co-author Tomas Borkovitz, a senior researcher at the Baja Observatory, University of Szeged, Hungary. But once we found them, the next question was, why aren't there more multiple star systems? Roman could give us a deeper look at these peculiar systems and even discover entirely new types of systems never seen before, providing great surprises for astronomers. These discoveries will not only clarify the picture of the universe's complexity and diversity, but also raise profound questions about the limits of astrophysics. The Roman telescope will help us continuously push those limits, expanding the boundaries of knowledge and fueling humanity's passion for exploration. We are on the cusp of a future where our understanding of the universe will be richer than ever before, and the journey to find new wonders in space is just beginning.